Hey guys, John here. So next week is going to be Hive 2. We got some cool patches prepared for you guys. And before we jump into Hive week, I do want to kind of talk a little bit about some different skins that you can use with Hive. So this one right here obviously is the default one that we have right now. So let's actually make this a little bit bigger. Let's maybe just go 110 so uh, so we can all see a little bit better. So this is the default one that we all know and love, right? Maybe some doesn't love. I don't know. But anyway, so if we right click up here, I have installed Eclipse and this one is uh, from Plugmon. And now this one's kind of cool because it has the nice purple colors to it and the kind of grayish, which is kind of pleasing on the eye. But it's also a redesigned of kind of where the modules sit, right? Because if we go to our original here, we can see that this, this is kind of like that symmetrical kind of look here. Right? We have the oscillator one, filter one. Here on the right, oscillator two, filter two, and the subs, respectively, right? So this is cool, the, the symmetrical workflow. I personally like it. I think it's cool. Not everybody does, so I think that's what that was part of the inspiration for this Eclipse one here. So you have oscillator one, two, and then we have our filters down over here, and then we have our envelopes for amp one and two and our mod envelopes and things like that. We have our LFOs next to each other here and a little bit of different workflow as far as how you want to change things and... Yeah, it's kind of cool. You can still scroll with your mouse wheel, which is really nice. The effects are going to be down over here. And then once you turn these on, then they kind of pop in like that, which is really nice. So I think that's kind of cool. What would have been really awesome is like, let's say we can move the reverb down here or stuff like that if the modules actually changed accordingly. But, you know, it's still pretty cool. And then we have the sequencer over here. We have XY, stuff like that. And uh, we have the scope if that's something that you're interested in, which is really useful for a lot of stuff. But uh, yeah, so we have this guy, which is kind of cool. And then uh, next we have the Ismo one, which I believe most of you guys should probably be familiar with, which this one's kind of cool. It gives kind of a similar thing where like the, the oscillators and the filters are next to each other. We have a lot of the stuff in the center, like our ARP stuff like that, sequencer and uh, the, the shape sequencer as well. And then we have our envelopes here on the right hand side kind of all grouped together and then our LFOs and functions on the left hand side and kind of similar workflow here with the effects as the as the last one that we showed. So, and then the next one is going to be this Ismo Dark, which is very similar to this one, but it's just a dark mode in case we want it a little bit darker without everything <laughs> blinding our eyes, right? So pretty much the same layout. There are some differences in this guy as well. And one of the skins that I have recently downloaded, and I think it's somewhat new, has really caught my eye because I really like it. The The plus side of using a different theme or skin like this is that it's it kind of re -or re -or <laughs> reorientates or puts the modules in different spots. So the workflow could be improved maybe if you like it. And it takes a little bit of time to kind of get used to it. Sometimes it's nice to just have like a different skin to it, right? So it just looks a little bit different, but all the stuff is in the same spot. So that's why I like this new one called the Night Skin. So this one I believe is free. And uh, a lot of the skins you can find on either Plugmon's website or on the official Yuhi website. Now this one is nice because it's still the same layout as the original one. It's just kind of like a dark mode, a night mode, something kind of like that, which I think is actually really cool. And I've started to kind of use this one a little bit more because it's a little bit nicer on the eyes, especially late at night. Because if you have the original one right here, it can be a little bright, especially these panels down here and the keyboard. So switching over to this guy is kind of cool. And sometimes, especially with skin, sometimes it almost feels like the synth is in a way new again and it kind of maybe gives us a little bit of inspiration. So that's one thing I kind of wanted to, uh, to share with you guys because sometimes you, if you change out a skin, you can almost change up the workflow a little bit, right? And if you do have the Eclipse, if you have gotten this one, this one, the keyboard is up here at the top. That took me <laughs> a little bit too long to figure out than I want to admit, but yeah, keyboard's up there. But long story short, if you're interested in any of these kind of skins here, check out Plugmon's site and then check out the, uh, the official Yuhi ones. I'll put the links in the description if you guys want to use some of these. But yeah, the night skin is actually really, really cool. Highly recommend this one and it's a lot of fun to use. So with that being said, pick your skins and next week or this week, we're going to come into Hive 2 with a lot of cool sounds. So thank you for watching and we will see you tomorrow.